Hi, I'm Selena, an interior designer, stylist, and furniture finisher based in Sydney. I've been a furniture flipper for three years, and in that time, there's one thing I probably haven't done enough of, and that's challenging myself. And as you see, I love to wear colour, but I don't generally tend to paint in vibrant tones. I've set myself the challenge in today's flip to paint in a really bold, kind of berry red tone. This Queen Anne dresser is going to be the flip that I experimented this colour on and I'm hoping that it is able to sell for maybe about three or four hundred dollars as I've typically been able to sell this exact same dresser for that four hundred dollar price range in Sydney. So fingers crossed it works out and I'm able to get a decent profit. So if you're interested in a bold colourful makeover then this flip is for you so continue watching. When working on older furniture pieces, sometimes hardware is made specifically for each drawer handle. To keep this all on track, I like to use a container that has individual slots. This way I can mark out all the individual drawer points and then it corresponds correctly and it saves me time in the end when I'm reattaching these handles. To effectively get into all those details, I find smooshing and brushing in the paint in all different directions helps to get into all those details. At this point here, I just wasn't sure about the colouring. I love the colour on its own, but in the whole of this dresser, I just felt it was almost too much and overwhelming, but I really didn't want to repaint it. And I really wanted to see if this was something that would actually sell. So pushed on through and then decided to hemp oil that sanded cedar top. I absolutely hated it. The colour was so rich and dark and I just wasn't feeling the combination between that dark brass hardware and that really strong chocolate timber top. So ended up completely switching gear and thinking about what I could do to sort of soften it and just make it a bit of a better contrast. I rummaged through my garage to see what other sort of stains I had and thankfully I came across Gilly's Liming Wax and then applied that over the top once that hemp oil had dried. When it comes to furniture flipping and trying to sell on Facebook Marketplace, finding that right balance between colour and timber finish is quite a challenge. So a lot of it is just experimentation, seeing what your area likes and what they'll pay for as well. Looking at other furniture shops to see what kind of finishes are popular. If you're working with a really bold 
bright color, it's always best to go something a bit lighter on top. If you really want to create a balance between the two colors that you're working with, going for a softer white wash top just helps balance that really vibrant color. And working on a piece of scrap wood is a good idea to experiment with these two tone finishes. In this case here, I waited till the end to see what the overall result would look like and didn't like it, so I ended up switching gears. Now just to finish up the last details of adding in the hardware and distressing details. kind of lucky that this dress was free as I did feel kind of compelled to make sure that I had to recruit my losses. In total I spent about $15 in costing so that's for the paint and the sanding pads and that wax and because I wasn't sure how this color would go in Facebook Marketplace I ended up listing this for $300 as I did want it to go as I was needing more space in my studio and I just wasn't sure how people would kind of react to this color but I need not worry because it ended up selling pretty quickly it was about two days later for the 300. Sometimes you just never know what colors are gonna be popular or you know who the right buyer is. So definitely experiment and try different color tones and combinations of timbers as well. I think sometimes it's really good to step outside of your comfort zone and try something new. So I'm glad I did that in this flip and I'll definitely be doing it again in the future. So if you like this video, give it a like and without further ado, let's get to the reveal.